In this next demonstration, we're going to use our stream table to show how old growth riparian forests create a lot of habitat for fish. Even in healthy, mature riparian forests, trees will often fall in. These large old growth trees that fall into the river are actually exactly what we need in these healthy river ecosystems. In the upper half of this river ecosystem, you can see as the water flows, it starts to expose some of the roots of this streamside vegetation. Underneath these roots is prime habitat. The water is slowing down and creating pools, and there's great places for salmon to rest and hide from predators. As you can see here, these two trees have fallen into the river. This is starting to create a log jam. These log jam structures that develop in healthy rivers are prime habitat for fish. Water slows down and is pushed underneath the logs. This promotes scour or erosion underneath them. Pools are created and fish have a place to rest and hide from predators. These fallen trees also provide shade and a source of vegetation like needles and leaves that insects feed on and in turn feed juvenile salmon. It's important that this wood that's in the streams is large wood. Small trees that fall in will get swept away during high flows. You can see how this upper part of the river has so much more complexity than the lower featureless part. Without any large wood or trees on the stream banks, this lower half of the river has no complexity for salmon to thrive. When Redfish does in-stream restoration work, a big part of this is building complex wood structures to add back into these oversimplified river systems. We work with engineers and fluvial geomorphologists to create structures that'll work with the river and create healthy habitat for salmon.